Hi, you're on channel Rewatch. Today I would tell you about a movie from 2020 called Books of Blood. A young girl, Jenna, and her mother are discussing some situations that happened recently. It turns out that Jenna had stopped taking the pills prescribed by her doctor. During lunch with her parents, she is very annoyed by the way they chew and slurp. Later, the girl overhears that they want to send her to some farm. When her parents fall asleep, Jenna breaks into their room and steals their money. She's going to take a bus to Los Angeles. In the bus, she is again annoyed by the surrounding sounds. She saves herself from this by putting on headphones. Having made a stop at some cafe, Jenna finds a home hotel for an overnight stay. The chosen hotel is run by a kindly elderly couple, Ellie and Sam. There she meets another guest, Gavin. In her room, she sees cockroaches climbing out of the wall. During a conversation over dinner, it turns out that Ellie had worked as a nurse all her life, and Sam was a caretaker and somehow improved the house. Another cockroach crawls out from under the floorboards. When talking with Gavin, the girl tells him about her neurological disorder, misophonia, intolerance to almost any sound. That's why she wears headphones everywhere. Gavin invites the girl to drink cafe together, and they exchange contacts. At night, Jenna has a nightmare. First, she sees Gavin, puts a bag over his head, and then an elderly couple who, for some reason, take measurements from her. In the end, she spits up a whole bunch of cockroaches. The next day, Jenna goes to meet Gavin, cafe, but he doesn't come. But some man appears who the girl is scared of and runs out the cafe through the back door. Granny, noticing Jenny's anxiety, suggests that she unwind by working in the garden. She also notes that being a plant is much better than a human. And at the same time, she talks about her twin children, one whom died at birth. In response to such revelation, Jenna reveals that her mother previously sent her to a farm, which actually turns out to be a mental hospital. In addition, she complains about the pursuer, who is constantly nearby. Jenna decides to live with the old couple for a few more days. At night, Jenna hears some rustling. She pushes back the wallpaper and sees someone's fingers. Frightened, she still explores the wall and finds a secret door. Inside, the girl discovers someone's emasculated but still living body. Jenna writes to Gavin to call the cops but it turns out old Ellie has been texting her all this time. The live mummy extends a hand to Jenna. After that, the girl knocks out the mistress of the house entering the room. Sam goes up to get his wife. As the frightened girl searches for a way to escape, she gets into another room where dozens of the same terrible mummies live. The old couple grab Jenna and put her to sleep with an injection. The heroine comes to her senses already at the table. Joyful, Ellie says that the girl will no longer be disturbed by fear and anxiety, saying that the old woman will take care of every guest at the home with the help of her special calming substance, which she injects with a dropper. In addition, she sews up the eyes and ears of the guests. She began to do this while still in the hospital. She began to move into the house after her daughter, her husband, and her grandchildren were about to leave after the holiday, but she didn't want them to go at all. The son-in-law resisted the procedure of turning into a plant and had to be killed, while the daughter and the grandchildren remain under the floorboards. The human garden stretched all over the house. Sometimes new seedlings appear. Gavin, by the way, has already taken root under the porch. One problem is cockroaches that eat people up. The execution of the girl is interrupted by a call. In the house, in search of Jenna, comes the same man from the cafe. It turns out that he's the father of her ex-boyfriend, but his sincere conversation with Ellie is violated by Sam, who kills the man. At the time, a partially paralyzed Jenna tries to escape through a window and succeeds, but her attempt to drive away by car fails, and she can only hide in the back seat while the old couple puts the corpse of the man in the sedan. Upon reaching the quarry, Sam throws the car off the cliff with Jenna and the corpse inside. The car is shattered, but Jenna is strong enough to survive such a fall. Next, we learn that the girl had persuaded her boyfriend to commit suicide. Now her conscience is tormenting her, and not finding peace in this world, she decides to return to the maniacs and voluntarily agrees to replenish their home garden.